Rogue One in. So yeah, this is a little a little bit older, but uh, the Rogue One teaser trailer has uh, has has dropped, and uh, there was some drama about it. People upset over strong female characters. Uh, I'm just gonna cut to the point. I think the movie looks fucking fantastic. Uh, just from the the teaser. Was it a Mary Sue character? I'm still trying to. Find I don't even fucking know, and I don't care. I can fucking jerk off in their own mouths. Um, I think the movie. Just from the teaser trailer, it looks very promising. Um, and it's because of one simple reason. It is a movie set in the Star Wars universe that has every opportunity to shed all of these Star Wars tropes and stereotypes and simply tell a story, like I said, in that universe. We can do this without Jedis. We can without do th- lightsabers. Every- we, we yeah. could do this without a lightsaber duel. Uh, we could do this. I, I mean, there, there's a lot of ways this can happen. Um, it contains one of my favorite actors in the world, Forrest Whitaker. I squealed out loud in the store when I saw him. Um, the uh, I squealed when I saw Donnie Yen. Yeah, that's going to be great, Donnie too. Yen. Um, there's really great shots. I think, uh, what, is his name Gareth Edwards, the guy who did the Godzilla remake? I thought that was beautifully shot. Uh, tons of very Cinema- nice looking... Fo- Cinematography is very nice. Yeah, in this trailer. Um, I wasn't really necessarily excited about this the, the 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 title of it before we even saw the trailer was you know rogue one a star wars story it made me think of like a pg rated you know whatever what i saw looks very compelling i'm yeah. almost more interested in seeing this than i was the um, um the force awakens yeah, it, it, it looks they have a freedom not to be contained within the saga yes to follow the skywalker saga you know which is every freaking movie right um they can, they can have fun. So Rogue One, if you didn't know, um, is the story of how they went out and captured the original Death Star planes. Like, what was the team that actually did it? So before this, the canon was before Disney threw out the canon was the extended universe based upon the Dark Forces video game. Was Kyle Katarn, Katarn was a mercenary hired, and it was actually the first mission of the game, him being in the Death Star. Excuse me, not being in the Death Star, being in some location. Uh, you get the plans and you bring them back, and that sets off. You know the, the Dark Forces series, which was what three or four games. Now I I am bothered because I love that character that he wasn't included, but I understand they want to do their own thing. Right. I thought it would be nice to then incorporate some of the extended universe, but I, apparently they're not going to do any of that. Um, there's a great shot in the trailer of like the uh, the Star Destroyer coming out, and then you see the the shadow being removed, and you see well, it's a Death Star. Yeah. You actually see like the cone. The, the inverted cone being put where the Death Star ray be- beam comes yeah. out. like That's cool stuff. I'm not going to focus on the strong female thing because I actually didn't see a lot of that backlash uh, with this. Really? You didn't? It was fucking all over. Nah, I, I, I didn't see it. I will say this, though. I have nothing against strong female characters. Can we do one that doesn't look like they're 20 years old, though? Can we go up in age a little bit? Yeah. Give me a 30-year-old one. Can we get, like, a 40-year-old? Like, I, that's that's where I think that could be pandering it slightly. Let's, like, if you really want to expand it, let's get an older female character. Right. I think that, a, a somewhat grizzled character, you know. That probably would have actually been a pretty good fit for this, honestly. How about a Kate Blanchett or something? Like, <laughs> throw some dirt on her. Right. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, but I, I like that it's a ragtag crew. I like that you hear some of the sounds, like the alarm sound from the first Star Wars, like, Woo! It's like, oh, this seems like this is really original trilogy. Like now we're back in that sort of mode. Yep. Uh, I don't know if there's any like. It'd be cool to see if, like if there's any like sort of aliens as part of their crew, or um, any any cyborg characters or robots. I don't know. It's, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a fun time. I'll see this in the theater. I'm I'll see really, it. really not looking forward to having to fucking cover two more trailers of this because I just want this to kind of be a surprise going in. Ah, you're gonna get two more though. This yeah. is a really early teaser to be like uh, eight months out to see, and then uh, yeah, I, it's almost like you forgot about this because Star Wars. This is what's so weird about it because now there's always gonna be a Star Wars movie in production for like, right. the next five years at least, probably for the rest of our lives. There's gonna be. They're gonna do the obviously episode eight and nine. And they're going to do, which I don't agree with, a young Han Solo movie, which I think is an awful idea. I do think that's a bad uh, idea as and well. A, and a young Boba Fett movie, which I think is an eh idea. It's almost like a Wolverine Origins. I really don't want to see it, because we saw a 10-year-old Boba Fett in Attack on the Clones, and it was fucking terrible. I don't want to see kids. I don't want to see cool characters revert to kids. I just don't. Didn't no. work with uh, Didn't work with 
uh, Darth Vader. I don't want to see fucking Boba Fett anymore. But anyway, uh, so we'll see. You know, we'll see what happens in good old December. Then, which is weird because by the time that comes out, there's going to be a teaser for Episode Eight. It'll which, probably lead off Rogue One. It's just this is the world where this is the best time to be alive. If you like movies and geek stuff, 